friends welcome back to my channel so in this uh, video i'll be actually considering the q4 result analysis of uh, one company anthony waste handling cell limited so it is actually a company that is engaged in the manufacturing of uh, mechanical power uh, based management that is actually it is in the engaged in the business of mechanical power sweeping of roads collection and transportation of waste to energy project undertake design and construction and operation of integrated waste management facility in, mainly they are actually operating in mumbai is one of the top 5 players in the indian municipal waste management industry with a track record over 20 years so they are actually a pioneer in the municipal waste uh, management uh, municipal waste management they actually provide a full set of services being low solid waste collection transportation processing and disposal services they have uh, at present 18 projects undergoing out of which uh, 12 are municipal collection and transportation and two are msw processing project and four mechanical sweeping project they are jaghurial presence in nine state india and uh, they actually are ongoing uh, some long term projects also and municipal uh, contribute a major portion of their revenue and uh, they actually operate uh, have a cluster based approach they have five, five ongoing projects in the mumbai multiple regions and six projects in the national capital region and they have one of the largest location in asia in the mumbai region in uh, kunjur mark in mumbai region where they actually process 5000 tons per day of solid waste with a total capacity of 7500 per ton per day uh, the site actually has 60% of the total waste generated in mumbai and they also have a new base to energy project uh, that is actually long term project the total project cost is 250 crores which be funded through debt and equity and uh, the capacity of the site will be 1000 tons per day there are only five such projects uh, till uh, December 20 in India, and uh, they actually posted very good results. Uh, so uh, regarding their, uh, they actually have provided some information in their presentation. So they posted very good results uh, for the Q4 of 2022. They actually posted total income of 192.83 crores and uh, as compared to 165.80 crores. the previous quarter and 138.35 crores in the previous year the profit before tax 33.59 crores has come to 2.65 crores and uh, in the previous quarter and 18.96 crores in the previous year so, and uh, net profit is 25.42 crores has come to 19 crores uh, in the previous quarter and 15.57 crores in the previous year so there is a good increase in almost 10 crores increase net profit has come to previous year so if you see the eps for the current quarter it is around uh, it is around 7.09 so if you see the full year results the total revenue uh, total income is 66.78 crores as compared to 4.480.76 crores and the profit before tax is 112.69 crores as compared to 70.46 crores so there was a 40 crore increase in profit before tax and uh, regarding the net profit it is around 90 crores as compared to 64.07 crores so there is a almost a 26 crores increase in net profit also the company's eps for the uh, current year is 24 as compared to 17 in the previous year so stock is trading at around just around uh, 12 times FY22 EPS. So if you see the the website, they are actually have operating one of the single larger projects in uh, Asia. That is actually valid till 2036. So they are actually operating a plant, uh, one of the largest plant in Asia. That is actually processing 5,000 tons per waste per day. Then they, they have another project that is a uh, waste to power, uh, waste to energy project that is actually valid till 2040. So that is actually a Includes a 240 crore capex and actually uh, that uh, that involves around 80 800 tons of municipal waste to be processed every day. So they actually uh, that is actually a long term project. So the revenue visibility exists for this company in the future also. So based on all these factors, uh, based on the company, this company has actually grown over the years from 220 crore revenues and increased to 648 crores and net profit increased from 17 crores to around 68 crores. So the value on the balance sheet also it looks uh, good with the 14 crore equity and 4 not crore reserves. So altogether, this company trading at 13 times looks a good stock with improved revenue visibility in future and looks a good buy on every dips. And this company is trading near the IPO price, but I see uh, limited downside and I'm actually expecting a target of 400 in the next one year in this company.